Sometimes for dirty jobs, you got to be outside. That is with the birds singing and with uh, maybe some of the road noise you might hear. But the other day, this Tinco Pure One X came to me with a problem. This is a friend of ours machine and she got it a little while ago. I don't know if it was a couple of weeks ago or maybe a month ago or however long that she's managed to have it. And she was using it, using it, using it. Has a lot of bare floors, has some pets. You know, dogs, cats, and you know, various other things that uh, she needs to pick up throughout the household. And she said over time, over a long period of time since she had it, it stopped picking up. Now, it still runs. But the pickup has become intolerable. So how about we take a look at that? And of course, if you are a longtime subscriber and viewer of my channel, what's the single thing that actually causes pickup to either decline drastically or stop altogether? Is that a situation of quiz time, low suction, or low airflow? Quiz time over. If you guessed low airflow, you would be correct. Anybody know why suction is not a primary component of cleaning? Because it's not a movement and it's not a volume of air. Suction is a pressure. It's a static pressure. So I'm just going to take care of some of the obvious here. You can see uh, some of the staining on the on the soft bristles here. Well, let's see. It's got some soft ones here and then some stiff ones here. So chevron type, one row of soft, one row of stiff. So probably good for a wide variety of environments. Eesh. See, that doesn't appear to come off or come off easily but there's there's definitely a lot of hair wound around there now that is not going to affect the pickup as much as you think but still needs to be still needs to be cleaned and this is a see the blob we got so far I know it's a pain to go and actually do this but if you do it on a regular basis um, it won't be so bad, but I understand a lot of people don't want to mess with it. And I always kind of wonder, just personally speaking, why make vacuums in white? I mean, what's the first thing they're going to get? Well, dirty. <laughs> so, why do that? They don't end up. They don't end up looking very good over a period of time. Okay, so. No clog in there. Definitely no clog, no clog whatsoever in there. I can see all the way through. Absolutely not an issue at all. All right, that's a little bit better. Yeah, there's always going to be one more hair wrapped around in there, in there. So I have a uh, a triplet of maintenance videos and. I cover stuff like this if you want to look for the playlist, vacuum maintenance videos. I have three of them. Uh, let's see, that goes in like that. This can go back in like this. And then we lock it so it doesn't fall out. And that's, that's certainly good enough. I mean, you can clean a little bit more if you like, but that's not going to prevent you from picking up most of your dirt. So, another obvious thing could be, whoops, I don't need to turn it on, speeds, okay, off, <laughs> I, picked, I picked this up and the button got stuck on. So obviously we look through the tube and the tube is totally clear, yep, that 
the fact it makes that noise you don't really even have to look through it but it's easy to see that this tube is clear so that's not a problem okay next let's take a look at this okay now I have never taken this apart I'm not sure how it comes apart and what all its pieces are so I think there is that looks like there's a exhaust filter right here so I'll take that off boy that looks clean it looks like there's almost not a speck of anything in there I mean gee that's yeah, that's that's perfect that's absolutely fantastic there's the inside so it's not that definitely not that well, let's see how we get this back in here there we go uh, let's see how else can we take this thing apart well we can certainly empty the bin there we go now you notice that the bin really isn't all that full I mean here there's like nothing in there and that's all that really came out not a big deal but I noticed this little dude right here I mean look at that you can you can remove this even with the bottom of the bin closed I mean you can open it up and take it out if you want to but let's see what's going on with this but let me see if I can check the airflow a little bit I'm not gonna bring my gauges out here There's a tiny bit of suction, it's probably on low, but the airflow is just about zero. So, let's take this center assembly out. Oh, I think we found the problem. Feast your eyes on that. Yep, that's it right there. <laughs> so, it's completely blocked. It's just totally, utterly blocked. Now, I'm sure you can wash this, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a, if it'll stay in one spot, I'm going to use a toothbrush and see what we can manage to scrape off. All right, let's see exactly how bad this is. I just want to see how thick it is. Let's see if I get that closer. Yeah, you're going to hear some wind noise. Yeah, look at that. I just want to show you how thick the layers are on that. So I don't know, again, if that's several weeks worth of use or a month or two or something. But, yeah, there's a problem here. I don't think. Well, there's nothing stuck in here. Yeesh. wonder why I came outside for this. Now you know why. Okay, so this one here, obviously, any big pieces should be removed, and then you're going to wash it, and then you're also going to quick dry it. So that's just some of the, the big pieces that have come off. You can see there's, oh, there's so much more. Yeah, look at that. Get that out of the way. Yeah, see how much is coming off? That's something. 
Okay, so let's put that back in just for a minute. It comes, pops back in. And let's see what the airflow is like. Oh, yeah. You can hear it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now I'm going to clean this filter by actually dunking it because we want it to make it look better than that. It's a perfectly clean bucket of water, but it won't be for long. Looks like I'm going to have to use this to scrub it off a little bit. That is made, I mean, here's obviously what it looks like new and clean, but this is so stained, I don't know if that's going to, that's going to look very good when we're done. It'll be, it'll be clean enough to make the machine work all right, but I think that stain is probably going to be there. You can see the water's getting dirtier. I don't think there's anything inside here. I am a little surprised that it's not coming as clean as I'd want it to be. See, there's the clean spot. So it looked like, if you didn't want to mess with this, you could use a toothbrush, frankly, and get most of the dust off. But this is going to be the way to probably do a little better job but you know what I have to do now I have to go and quick dry it and it's a very hot day today but I think I'm still going to be able to dry this pretty quickly this dirty water need any more now let's take a look at we can take apart this. Maybe we can blow it out a little bit more. So I will do this part first. And let's do this. Okay, so I think we're all in pretty good shape now. Of course, I've got the filter drying so we will we will resume when everything is all put back together again so now the Tinco's inner filter is now completely bone dry so let's rebuild this dude here I can go in there like that this will go in and twist and click there. and then this is going to Click in there like that. Last piece. And let's do some pickup. So we have some dog food, some rice, and some oats, and I will try to run it on high. Alright, I think it's on high. Here we go. Ooh, that really sticks, that really sticks to the carpet. It really does. All right, well, here we go. So yes, I believe we have our airflow. It has returned. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more.